What's up, Fabu fam? It's me, your main boo, back with another video. So I don't know if you guys can already tell, but I recreated my favorite Instagram filter. This filter is my life. I use it in all of my stories, and I just thought, why not recreate it? I saw James Charles do this, and I was so inspired by it. So this filter is called Year One, and it is from Insert Name Here. Shout out to you, girl or boy, whoever created this filter. God bless you. So I don't want to talk too much, but if you guys like this look and you want to see how I achieved it, then just keep watching. Watching. Okay, so we already got a base going. I already finished my foundation, my concealer. I set that shit, so let's go. So there are about three main things that I want to achieve. Number one, the lips are three times bigger than mine. A little bit too big for me, but you know, I still live for it. I definitely just want to go ham with the freckles, the blush. <laughs> I'm so excited. And the best part and the reason that really inspired me to do this video Hello. These I actually bought from like a costume store around Halloween time. I was planning on doing a butterfly look for one of my Halloween looks, but you know, that never happened. So I do want to put these to use and I thought what a better way than today. So since I already did my base, let's just skip ahead to contouring. So this is one of my OG contour palettes. It looks very frightening, but I just love the texture of these. You know, they're buildable. They're really good. So I want my face to look snatched to the gods. So I'm gonna go in with this shade on the left and even this dark shade over here. And I'm just gonna be using these gray tones to carve out my face. And with the cheekbone, I'm just gonna carve them out. I'm gonna even do it more dramatic than I usually would. And I'm just gonna suck in my lips like this and apply it on that line. This is gonna make my face just appear overall more slim. And then to just clean those up, I'm gonna take the banana cream powder with just a beauty blender and just really carve those babies out. And then the same thing for my jawline. And then I'm gonna finish it off with this Morphe M524 brush. I love this brush for contouring my nose. I know this looks super harsh right now, but I'm just basically focusing on making two lines down the middle of my nose and making it appear as narrow as possible and i'm also going to put that product below my nose too so it appears shorter and we're done <laughs> just kidding and then i'm going to just take a fluffy brush and just blend that all out and then to finish it off and make it look really snatched on the bottom i'm going to take some highlight i'm going to take this one by jacqueline cosmetics and i'm just going to apply glam to the tip of the nose and also right at the bridge but i'm leaving room right there so it's kind of just like a little cute exclamation mark and then i'm going to take my cap on d palette and my beauty blender and i'm going to go in with this banana shade and just apply that to the sides to finish up the nose and just wipe that off next let's go into the eyes i can't tell if i want to do a blue eyeshadow look or pink i think i'm gonna go with the pink because these pink shades right here are really calling my name so firstly i'm going to go in with this shade right here and just give myself a little base. So I'm gonna start off with this hot pink and I'm just taking that hot pink shade, applying it on my lid and then kind of just blending it out. And then after I blend it out, I'm just gonna be packing that shade on the lid. And then I'm gonna take this little dense brush and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line. This eye look though is so cute. I need to play with colors more often. And then I'm gonna just pop on some lashes. These are by New Bonsum, I think that's how you say it. And they're in the shade Bombay. All right, eyes are done. I love this look already, wow. The freckles in this filter literally start from right here and go all the way down to here everywhere basically on the face and I love it so much so I'm gonna just take this eyebrow pencil it's by Sigma it's in the shade medium I think this is the perfect shade for freckles for some of them I'm holding it down and twisting and then some I'm just putting little dots this is so cute okay so I think that's good for the freckles let's move on to lips I'm the most excited about this part because let's be honest I am an overlining 
queen and I think this is gonna be the most that I've ever overlined my lips but the reason why I think these filters look so cute when they make your lips look so ginormous is because the key to it and I have a video on overlining your lips if you want to check that out I'll link it right above the key to it is just staying true to your line on the ends and then overlining right in the center and I'm gonna do that for the top and the bottom and by the way I'm using this lip liner by KKW Beauty this is in the shade nude 2 Okay, next I'm going to take this lipstick by L'Oreal. This is in the shade 808. So this is really going to help blend in the lips and the lip liner, but also provide a contrast to make the lips look even bigger. And then I'm going to take this concealer, also by KKW Beauty, and I'm just going to apply that to the center of my lips. And then I'm just going to top it off by applying some lip gloss over top. And I'm just using this to blend the shades together, make the brown look less apparent, and just give the illusion of really full lip. And lastly for this look, guys, I just got this from Ulta. How beautiful. This is the 8C palette by Morphe. I love these two shades right here. I'm like so into blush right now. I might even just blend all three of these, and I'm just going to put that all around my face. And then I'm going to go back and reapply the freckles just because we lost some while we were putting on our blush. Okay, we are done with the face. Let's just finish it up by putting these little butterflies all over me. So the butterflies in the filter kind of lay like on top of the girl's head. But, you know, we can't defy gravity out here. So we're going to just clip them on my head. I think I'm going to use this to actually clip my hair back. All right, so this look is complete, you guys. I love this. Like Instagram filter who, I don't need you anymore. You're in my past, this is my future. I'm just gonna sleep with these butterflies in my hair tonight and just wake up like this. That concludes today's video. Let me know if you guys want me to recreate any more Instagram filters. So starting Friday, I decided I wanna start doing post notification shout outs. All you have to do to enter is just subscribe to my channel, turn on that bell notification and comment down below saying Fabu fam. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.